What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at these BCA packs, the breast cancer awareness packs that were released into the game. Limited time offer. There are only 11 hours, 45 minutes, and 30 seconds left on them. So I'm going to actually go in here and purchase my first actual bundle of the year. So I've got the points already accumulated up there in the top corner. As you guys can see, if you want to buy individual packs, they're 350 coins. But I'm going to go in here and actually get a full bundle of them. And the reason for it is because I actually am also going to get a bundle topper, which contains a gold VCA player. I don't really know exactly what's in all these packs, to be completely honest with you. I saw some pretty nice cards that were coming out of other people's packs, though. Even just like regular elite cards. So I'm really hoping that I can pull my third elite of the year. I didn't get one in my previous pack over opening videos so uh, really really am hoping that I get something of some sort of value I'd be very very happy if I got something nice in this pack opening because it's been a little while at this point since I got anything but let's go in here and purchase this pack or this bundle excuse me and there it is so I have the bundle bundle topper we'll do that about like halfway through maybe how's that if I remember to <laughs> Alright, Bruce Arians is our first card, and then we got Akeem Ayers as our gold, and then, okay, an EJ Manuel, of course, he gets benched right away. Uh, first player that I get uh, that's actually a decent BCA card is a player that got benched. Oh, well, not too bad anyway. We got a couple of decent cards. Uh, Travis Frederick. Okay, I think Travis Frederick might actually be a decent card. I don't know why I accidentally just skipped through that there at the end. I pressed square. Whoops. Obviously didn't get anything else, though. So, let's see here. Chris Culliver... Jim Harbaugh, Matt Johnson, okay, Sean Phillips, nothing exciting there, unfortunately, and Mac, Mike McGlynn, okay, let's see what he's got going for us, I, I don't think that he's probably going to be a starter for me, actually, maybe he will, let's see here, oh yeah, definitely, he's definitely going to get the start over Zane Beatles, for sure, yeah, he's pretty much better in everything other than impact block, so, eh, yeah, let's give him a shot, huh? Not, I'm kind of surprised that I'm going to be starting a Chiefs player, but, you know. Desperate times call for desperate measures sometimes in this game. All right. We'll, we'll promote him to our starter. So, not the best pack there, but, you know, not horrible. All right, Dennis Allen. Another another fired player to go along with my EJ Manuel. Oh, boy. Okay, Leon Hall. There we go. An 84 overall cornerback. I definitely like that. He is certainly going to be good enough to be a starter on my team. Let's, let's compare him first, though. Uh, I don't really have great corners right now. So, yeah, Altron Werner. I hate that Leon Hall's only 86 speed. That is freaking awful. That is awful. His zone coverage is pretty decent, though, and he has good press. A lot better than Werner. Well, I can't believe how low Ver Werner's press is. 66. What? I mean, I know he's not known for pressing, but seriously, he's not like me out there or something. That's kind of surprising. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll definitely find a way to get him into the lineup. Um... I, I wish he was faster. That just sucks so much that he's only 86 speed. Oh, well. What can you do? We'll move him up there to starter. Hopefully, we can get something else out of this pack. Okay. Terrence Cody. One of London's favorite players. I wish that they had, like, a picture of just his gut jiggling. That would be awesome. <laughs> but, all right. We didn't really get much out of this. Uh, Darnell Dockett. Okay. 79. Not spectacular again. But uh, let's compare him. I don't, I don't think I have much at the end. I do have that temporary that jj watt for a little while but um okay so he has quite a bit better strength but his he's really not very good overall his power moves a little bit lower than Derek morgan's um yeah we'll probably stick with Derek morgan i think just for the time being anyway until i get something better but it's good to always to have some depth at your defensive line of course so all right let's go back here and uh let's go through my um my, I, I want to go to that that uh, bundle topper that I had. I want to do that at this point. So, and then I also do have the the three pro packs. Maybe we'll do those right now. Well, let's do the bundle topper first, and then we'll do the pro packs, and then we'll finish up with the BCA packs. Okay. So Jonathan Goodwin is the the card. Unfortunately, at center is actually one of the positions that I have quite a bit of depth at. I probably need to sell some of these guys. Look how many guys I have here that are pretty good. Now that I've got Travis Frederick, I even have more. I mean, it's getting ridiculous at this point how many guys that I have that are pretty decent at center. But uh, I think we're going to stick with Nick Mangold. If you guys saw him, he was in my budget series video because he is pretty damn good. But uh, we'll we'll stick uh, Jonathan Goodwin probably onto the auction block. 
All right. Oops, I accidentally opened up another BCA pack. Sorry, guys. But we'll still have two more at the end of this. Another Jonathan Goodwin, of course. Of course. I saw people complaining that they got, like, Joe Flacco. At least you're not getting multiple Jonathan Goodwins. Come on, now. All right, Usama Young. Ahmad Black. I'm getting garbage out of these packs, man. Absolute crap. I haven't gotten really anything very useful, unfortunately. Kind of sucks. Oh, well. All right. Maybe these promo packs, these, these uh, ones that we got with the Ultimate Edition, will give me a little bit more luck. Come on, give me something. Ugh, Derek Sherrod? Really? Come on, man. I need something of value. He's not going to start over any of these guys. Orlando Franklin's so much better. Even Tyson Claybo is so much better. Ugh, garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Yeah, we didn't get anything of any value out of, it, yeah, out of this one. Let's open up the next one. Come on, baby. Give me something good. I haven't gotten anything in so long. Okay, Stephon Gilmore. I mean, 81 overall. He's probably not going to start for me again. Um, but he's good enough to possibly go uh, over uh, a Janoris Jenkins here because he does have a little bit better speed. Um, he's okay in man coverage. Not great. Better in zone coverage. But he does have quite a bit better press. So I do like that. I wonder what his strength is. Because uh, that's actually pretty important to me, to be honest with you. Yeah, it doesn't say on here anywhere, unfortunately. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. Here we go. 54 strength versus 46 strength. So, eh, not really, uh, not really spectacular either way. But, all right, so I think he'll probably end up being my nickel corner going forward. So, I mean, that's probably the best card that I've pulled in this entire uh, bundle so far, unfortunately. We're really having some brutal luck so far lately in this game. Another just garbage card. Shelly Smith, oh boy. Ah, oh, man. I wish that I was getting something of value. I wish I was getting something of value. All right, we still got two more BCA packs. Come on. Give me something. Give me just one elite card. Come on. All right, Tony Moyaki. Garbage. Come on. Come on. D'Angelo Williams, 80 overall. Eh, probably the best BCA card that I've gotten so far. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but I guarantee you he's way too slow to even consider Ah, 92 speed, actually. I, I'm kind of surprised. I'm I'm not... I was not expecting D'Angelo Williams to have 92 speed at this point in his career. He's looked pretty damn horrible for a few years now. I'm really loving this Noshan Moreno card, too. But uh, if you look at the attributes, I think that other than the trucking, which D'Angelo Williams just has god-awful trucking. What the hell? 54? 54? Ugh. Some of these attributes are so crazy to me. Like, I understand that there are guys who are significantly better at trucking, but you're not going to tell me that Noshan Moreno is that much better than D'Angelo Williams at trucking. That's just absurd to me. It really is. And not to mention, D'Angelo Williams being 92 speed, what the hell? I don't get it. But overall, though, I mean, I might consider playing this D'Angelo Williams card. He's really not too bad. He has some decent attributes here with that acceleration and, uh, and the speed combination. It's pretty good. Let's look at some of these other things that we've got here in this card. I'm not... All right, so the 67 catching versus 79, eh, that's not good. Pass block, and eh, they're about the same. Let's see here, anything significant. Spin move is pretty good. I like that. You guys know how much I like to use the spin move. Although, I found that the jukes and that kind of stuff don't really work that well in this game. Like, they're not terrible, but they're certainly not as overpowered as they were in Madden, 50, or in, uh, Madden 25. And Shane Vereen. Ah, man, I love Shane Vereen, but, like, this card is just not really worth it. I, I mean, yeah, screw that card, dude. I'm pissed. All right, this is our final pack. Wish me luck. Come on, guys. We need to get something of value here. Come on, baby. Another D'Angelo Williams. Oh, boy. I, I'm really hoping that some of these cards go for, like, a little bit of coin so I can make something back. Because I just got absolutely murdered across the board on this whole bundle opening, guys. I didn't get a damn thing that is worth anything that I'm aware of. So let me know in the comment section below if you saw something that I passed up on. But I don't think that I got anything really out of out of any of my packs. Um, I really, really don't. I'm going to go quick and look here and see. Um, I don't really think that I got anything significant. All right, here's our 11 cards. Yeah, I don't really have anything much to speak of so kind of sucks I, I mean i wish that there was more that i could do with these but um i mean that it is what it is guys that's that's all that i pull in the packs lately i'm not having the luck like i did in madden 25 where i was getting the barry sanders and the um the ed reed and like the jamal charles when he was going for like 150 and what else did i pull i think i pulled uh, ultimate legend lawrence taylor and ultimate legend reggie white i mean i was pulling stuff like in like every bundle that i opened 
but now it's getting really, really rough. I haven't been able to open up anything of significant value in quite some time, so kind of sucks, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, I hope that you are basking in my unfortunate <laughs> pack opening luck. I hope you guys are getting some good stuff. If you are, make sure you comment below. Let me know what you guys are pulling. Because, uh, like I said, I really haven't gotten much luck so far. And I put a decent little chunk of money into the game. Not like, I mean, not like thousands of dollars or anything, but probably up to like 80 bucks or something like that at this point put into the game, which is way more than I put into the previous game, Madden 25, when I put zero into it. So I'm really hoping that at some point my luck turns around that I get something epic. But uh, so far it's been pretty brutal. Like I said though guys, make sure if you like the video, you press that like button. Also be sure to leave a comment if you guys are liking these pack opening videos. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else too. I've been doing some of the um, the budget series and that kind of stuff. I will eventually be doing gameplay, I promise. But if you look at my team, I'm 83 overall. I really don't want to be up there going up against 90 overall teams. I've got to get my overall a little bit higher than that before I can really start to compete against these guys. And especially considering I'm just not that great at this game yet. So, uh, with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to press the subscribe button so that you get an, uh, an update whenever I do put out a new video. I would greatly appreciate all the support. And uh, thank you guys again for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot to me. I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.